I think you're echoing through your stream or something. All right, guys. Um, oh, so give me like thirty seconds at the start to place the main blueprints. All right, guys. Um, oh, so give me like thirty seconds at the start to place the main blueprints. Make sure you get one point one three B blueprint and not the other one. There's a, a B and a not B. Okay, looks like big space no top stone. left. No stone. Oil possibly vulnerable. Oil is vulnerable to tank shells. Probably nothing else. Okay, about to place the blueprint top right. I'm guessing smelting. I'm sorry, blueprint top left, smelting top right. Oh. It was limited to four players. Oh, wrecked. What happened? Oh. <laughs> the team's limited to four players. Goodness gracious. <laughs> He's going to have to reroll. Hold on. No, you don't have to reroll. Let me give you a command. I'm down. Or he's going to have to pull up a save and edit it from beforehand. Goodness gracious. I wonder who didn't join. Eiffel's the only one that didn't make it in. No, on the other team. Right. Like, oh no, Angie didn't join. What do we do? Oh. It was Xeno Cyber. He's on Spectator. Uh oh. No, because then if Andy didn't join, he could just be like, oh, all right, well, I guess I'm uh, on my own team then still. Go. <laughs> okay. Are we like waiting? No, we're good. He's on spectator. We're running. Xeno Cyber. Well, Xeno Cyber is still on spectator. Oh well. Okay. Where is smelting at? Smelting for power to the right. Now, um, now we can do some smelting up here. Oh, I didn't grab them. Do some smelting there. South patches. Look at that itty bitty stone. I can power right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did everyone place? Let's go. Uh, time to rearrange it, right? Oh, wait. Okay, we can split it here.
Oh, fuck. That went way too high. If you could do, you could start the um, furnaces. I think that was Red Car's first test. Hey, right, Cole's going. Someone grab every single wooden power pole since none in here. I give you a lot of that before I even got there. Here you go. Um, yeah, we're gonna be careful about not grabbing too much stuff in the chest. I'm sure if that was only grab what you need. Power's up. You got you get iron to the furnaces. Got it. On it. We have all the steel gone as well. No oh, steel's still there. Iron is flowing. Prioritize belts, pipes. Blue inserters. Who has blue inserters? Mm -hmm. Nope. Blue inserters. Do you have blue inserters?
up. Pipe production's up. Lots of iron to start, guys. Ma'am. Okay, you don't want to just do that square thing right there? I need a second stamp for oil. Do it. You got the blueprint, right? Psycho, that's the wrong one. Can I cancel that? Um, oh my gosh. I got the one you said. <laughs> no, you have, you have the old version. Give B. 1.13B. Yeah, that is 1.13B. Look at it. I'm staring at it right now. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm looking at it. Um, shit. Okay, we can't use step two. Step two is Hubar. Sorry, that's my bad. You guys straight to step three. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Could probably kill this one miner to get through here, or a couple miners here. Sorry for calling you out. Second. You're good. I need help getting water over here.
server is connected. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Drop her in here. My bad. Power is low. Hold for the search. Things get really tangled on that blueprint, so I would heavily use the Q method. I screw it up all the time. I don't have thoughts. That, that oil blueprint, I mean. So we don't have the buffer on this. On what? On the blue chips? Or the green chips? Give it to you. It's right there. It's ghosted. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good.
That is so strange. Nice. Hey, FL, let's build uh, steel. We don't need any more. Can't you can't saturate those? Let it build up in the in the smelters. Don't even worry about the um, the belts and the batteries. Oh, over here. There you go. Our battery's going, got secrets going, so just need steel for laser production. Coal coming in now. Should be a plastic. Block steel for <clears throat> this. Was that? Uh, st uh, steel. Steel's right here. Just uh, kind of export it. Just like oh. So. That's the same. And I'll put here. I need more smelting. Theater. We're gonna need so much steel for this base, guys. We're not gonna build overbuild steel for a long time. Try to handcraft stuff. Pick ahead. We have a tank for oil. Being stored up. Several. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Making sure. Yeah, we've got uh, three tanks about half right now. Those tanks are within um, tank shot range. Oh, totally. <laughs> yep. I had two ghost tanks right here for oil. I know, but we didn't have the blueprint second stamped when I was buffering, you know? I didn't want to put anything in the way. Right. Um... Engines? I'll let you do red circuit, I'll do engines. Uh, red, red circuits would be higher priority. Let's just get them up. I don't have the stuff to get it up. Oh, Jack.
We do have steel. Not yet. Uh, it's, it, was, it was being produced. Thanks. Yeah, it's being produced, it's not being outputted. Hold on real quick. Winning against points is going to be hard. Obviously. It's okay, we're gonna crush him. Let's figure out how to get stuff up. Gosh. Uh. Damn it. We really can take out those top two miners. Causing trouble. I'm setting up red just because. Right. A few. So I'm gonna go. Not sure if it's. You have engines being? No, no. I have just got some. I'm doing it right now. Need steel first. <laughs> I see there's um, two more iron patches, but I don't know if we should, if there's more on the other side that we can grab that we haven't seen yet. By the way, this start is great for us, guys. There's very low resources within the map, so everyone's going to have to be forced outside, which means PvP. Yeah. I'm going to go, what's my important? Well, yeah, I'm going to get her up the, uh... The iron outside of our base. And we have supplies. As soon as we have some a PvP technology, we should go out and hit. What are your thoughts, Psycho? I can. Yeah. If we can even, um, I mean, for outposts, maybe, right? If they have any outposts set up. I mean, anything touching the outside of the base. Yeah. You know. We're, I, once we're at the point where we want to go outside, that's the point where they're probably going to want to go outside, so... I'm already outside. Right. Yeah, so, in a few minutes... Oh, dude! Dude! Yeah, they've been already outside, and they... they... They okay. blocked us on on uh, iron. Okay. Yeah, they're That's already fine. going outside. Oh, that is smart. I bet they got the other one too. Oh, they blocked every single resource. They already got coal. They got iron. Yep, yep. They've been Let's blocking us. Let's get our us. stuff actually going. Get walls. They obviously did that before us. Yeah. Yep. They um been uh, denying us. They haven't touched the stone. <laughs> Touch the stone. At least not the stone. 
Also, none of the turrets on the outside of the base are needed, so we can pick them up. We'll go ahead and pick up a few, everyone. All right, because they can't get in time. All right, so they blocked all the resources to to the west of our base. Okay. That just means they have one less player building for this whole time, so that's. The well, so. their points are more than double ours. Yep. But that doesn't mean they necessarily have the throughput capacity that we're gonna have. Okay. Um, so, yeah, all of our stuff has been blocked. All right. Well, we got red ammo on the base, so you can take it down. I already got 180 yeah, from them. And you got shotgun shells. Just make it work, man. Yep. 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 Laser tray automation is done. We have a um It's on the uh, in the copper. Great. <laughs> oh yeah, these are some turrets too. It's not just walls. We need more steel. Are give extra damage? Yeah, it's faster. And our points are probably crashing now. Looks like we got stone and the iron. Well, I got bricks coming in mixed with the copper. Oh, I guess someone just fixed that. Mixing. 
We need <clears throat> steel furnaces on steel. Steel furnaces on steel. Yeah, Eiffel, can you get that just to the left and you convert those to steel furnaces? They're all stone furnaces at the moment. You there, Eiffel? Is he still in this chat? Oh. Yeah, he's here. <clears throat> okay, we got a tank. We got a tank now, guys. That's sweet. What do you think, Psycho? I think we need more steel. What specifically for? Lasers. Can you get into a tank maybe and go tank with some red ammo? A wreck? Is that a good thing now or is that just a we don't have red ammo. We have red ammo in the turrets outside the base. Which don't need to exist. Protection. Can. What do you think, Psycho? Talk to me. I think we're lacking on points. Yeah. Yeah, but we can go wreck their, their exteriors right now. You disagree? I mean, they're already outside their base, obviously, so they feel comfortable. They're probably doing exterior mining, and we're just letting them do it. Okay, give me a tank. I mean, I don't have cannon shells either, though. Just a great ammo. I got more iron flowing from... We have some cannon shells. Yeah. Oh, we do. Nice. Oh my god. And car driving. Yeah, grenade production. Do we have wall production? No, I don't think. Unless somebody set that up. I see bricks. Yeah, bricks are being made, so. I yeah, think about it. No. Yeah, walls take um, quickly. Do we care a lot about um, bricks? For walls. Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, we don't care as much as we care about steel right now. But. Okay. We want to figure out our priorities. This map is huge. Oh. 
I would next time take a car to get there. Eiffel, why, why did you do this? We already have, um... Oh, you're converting that to steel. Gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. I got about a dozen leather shirts in the chest. Right. I don't need to defend anything. We have plenty of coal um, right at the top of our base, so. And we have a good amount of stone. And car driving. I don't think there's going to be anything over here for me to find. What's that? I don't think there's going to be anything over here for me to find. Okay, there is. There's plenty. Get it. I mean, there's no way they're doubling our score and not leaving the base. We need more iron or, or steel. Nope. And to get the tank on you. That's okay, you're distracting four of them. Just do that forever. Just live. Live? We got landmine production, fellas. Great, I'm gonna landmine their stuff. Circuit production. Laser turret. Good job. I just want to get out of there. Nice bounce. Thanks. I'm, I'm toast. You got tanks. Um. I'm dead. I'm gonna have a good bit of stone coming in. Good job, though. Grab a Try, car. Man. I mean, you distracted him. That was great. Grab a car. You can do it quicker. What doesn't require? Go calm. Everybody make a steel axe. Everyone grab like 10 rockets. Make a rocket launcher. So I can grab the rest. Um. Hmm. 
He must have killed himself. Treason. There's treason going on. He, he must have killed his teammate. <laughs> ah. Like. I may have committed some light treason. Gosh. Okay, we are 40 minutes in, we got an hour 50 left. Man. Yeah, we need a little bit more of everything, it looks like iron, copper, steel. We have uh, stone bricks. Someone take that. I'm about to like smelt some more. Uh, I say about to, but it's gonna be a, a bit. Oh, they got our, got our iron, psycho, like right there. Nice. Oh god, they got tanks too. Check them out, psycho. Talk to you, buddy. I'm busy. That's wrong. You're not gonna spawn about it there. I'm on two joint spectators. Yeah. You still on our team, or you are a spectator now? I'm not a spectator. Still said I'm on the team.
They have massive copper patches by them, but none by us. Oh, first team. We just need to keep hitting their outside, I think. How are they? Oh. Yeah, they got they got our right side. Oh, anti elite, do we have walls? We have walls. No, we barely have stone. We, uh, yeah, do we, we have, have brick. We made some stone brick production, right? We, we got a straight. bunch. Yeah, we got a bunch of brick out here, right where I am. So, uh, yeah, feel free to take grab that. that. that brick to make walls quick, Psycho? No, I don't have any. I'm saying, do I take that to go make it? The one, whatever GD's talking about. Okay, walls being made here. Do I need to be making calling shots as far as what we're doing on the map, as far as PvP? I thought the plan was we were going to expand and build points and defend. Oh, okay. They got to it first. And make them come to us. But yeah, we uh, we have atrocious points. We have no points. I mean, they're surrounding our base right now, so are we going to respond to that or are we not? anti is just free roam. I mean, I don't have the tech to respond. What, what, what am I supposed to go out there with? Tank? A uh, tank? I need to strip. Okay, I'm gonna go... With some walls and a tank. We have, we, have, we have no steel. We have no lasers. He, okay, well we could do the thing with anti though. We have walls. I got 50 walls on me now. Okay. I don't have any walls. Alright. Okay. There's a bunch of walls here. I guess some walls. A bunch of walls. Yeah. Grab them. Lots of walls. Walls. By you? Yeah, right at the base. Yep, right where I am. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got 250 walls. Is he north? Is that him? He's west. Yeah, it looks like him. 
Okay, I'm heading south. Okay, let's do it, Juice. You and me. All right. I'm getting in my car in just a sec. He didn't have PLDs when I was fighting him last. Okay. See me? Aversion? I see you. Come. Go in a car. Okay, I'm coming from the base. Right. I'm coming from, from the left. I'm coming from the right. Go right, go right, go right, psycho. There's trees everywhere. Is he towards the base now? I don't know. I was coming from the left, but you're coming from the left, right. I know he's far. He cut out, I thought. Oh, he's up, he's top, he's top, 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 top. Top right, he's right at me. I saw him. Okay, I just got out of the trees, I'm coming. Oh, we're gonna freaking do this. Do you have a way to kill a tank? I have a tank. I don't have my shells though, shit. I have shells, I have shells. I have 39 shells. Okay, um, he's coming right at me. Just go at him. Nice, nice, nice. Those are his landmines, or his, uh... Yeah, that. I don't have a tank. I have a tank, you get my body? Oh shit. No, I'm dead, dude. Well, I'm full. He's got cannon shells. He's got my whole body. Stig, you wanna come help us? Can you do this guy? Stig, you there? Stig? Oh gosh, what can we get, guys? Yeah, yeah. He's here. I know, it's not responding. But we have nothing. We got tanks, huh. we got shells, we got solid fuel, let's do it. Is that one tank? That was one tank. Okay, so take these shells. I'll get in a car. I'll get some walls. He's got a stack load for me, man. Um, Alright, make sure you... Right. I don't have any walls. I mean, we just gotta kill it to get that crap back now. You just go find Let's him. I'll catch up. I have three cannon walls. shells. Three. He was scurrying the edge. He was obviously trying to hide. So. Yeah, but it's a needle in a haystack now. No, he peeled off home, man. He just had, he just got a stack load of stuff. He's like, thanks. We're making 20k. <laughs> like, yeah, we need to get our blue patch out there defended and up. That's top priority. We can't kill Anthony. Surround it with walls. I'm gonna bring walls and just surround it. We need it. That's that's everything right now. We can double our score if we get that patch fully patched. I can do that. Me and Didi and Eiffel can do that. I really think it'd be better if you went harass Psycho. We can take a 20% loss in manpower if you can go distract three or four other teammates. I need a car. Stig's gone. Stig's gone, great. Cars, eight engines. Oh, he's right here. Okay, I'm coming. 
He was to the right of you. Is, that, is it anti? He's like yeah, right there. Right. 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 All right. We're doing the psycho. Yeah. He's got 105 million landmines, though. That'll stop any wall we put up. We have to kill him or drain a million landmines. Well, we can shell, we can explosive shell his. We're not gonna wall him in with all this stuff. We explosive shell his tank and then slow capsule him. You're not gonna wall him in with all the landmines he's got. I'm there for bots. Bots need still though. They do, but they'll... they'll help place stuff outside. I figure. I don't know. I, mean, I could not do bots. Dude, I can't. Some wrecking stick. Is that his mine? Yeah. Which of the are most of these our mines and a few of them his? Is that the, the deal? I placed a whole bunch of mines. Oh, there's more. What? How did I die? I was placing mines. Oh, you can't the mine. even see them. No. Oh, maybe it was his. Um... Shit! I didn't see that coming. I see kind of yeah. We can't increase our points right now because we're iron starved. What are your thoughts, Psycho? I mean, yeah, that's true. Right 
Ah, oh, he's almost, yeah. he's almost done. He's almost done. He's going oh, away. Ah. Uh, oh, my strategy placing mines in the trees worked. That's good. It's like those AFK. Holy crap. What's going on, Psycho? Should leave us? We have no production. No, we need... It's because we have no patches in the base. Our patches are tiny, and... Do something about anti roaming. I almost got him down with my mines in the in the forest, but not just like barely red health. <sighs> I want to be talking more, Psycho. Are you done or what? Yeah, I, we've lost. We have an hour and a half left in the game. We play for an hour. Yeah, and they're a million three hundred points ahead. And more than double our points. So do you want to AFK and... or what? I want to kill Anty. Even if we don't win, I want to like fight. I want to put up a fight. All right. I feel like I feel like you're like a little depressed right now, and you're not talking again. Yeah, I I think this sucks. <laughs> well, let's brainstorm. Like, let's talk and discuss and. And still capture this outpost while he's gone. Okay, it's cleared of mine. Cleared of uh, walls. Yeah, cleared of my mines. I honestly want to go like outpost somewhere else and just build a base there. Like miners. No, no, a base. Yeah, yeah that's, that's gonna take so long. Take 45 minutes to get that going. Maybe. There's no water anywhere else on the map. You'd have to do a solar. They're not steel for solar. I know. Andy's up here. Between us and the base. Falling anti. He's shooting me. Our steel is so bad right now. It's gotten worse. Because it we got no iron coming in. I know Anti likes going through the trees, so if we can like place a whole bunch of mines into the trees and like maybe lead him there or something, I don't know. Like I almost got his tank down uh, with that strategy. Something.
Hmm. Do we have stone furnaces anywhere? Or are they all gone? So we start with a zillion of them. I actually have 50 and 22 on Two me. more tanks in, Ben. Wonderful. Sulin. Three tanks. Turn off my trying to get there all, which is good. Okay. Well. We got seventy two lasers, but we're not really using it, so I'm turning off laser production. So that all goes towards shell production and tank production. Gosh, where did my did someone pick up my um, chest that had modular armor in it? No. For some reason I have a modular armor in me, but that's I don't know how. I got it. Like, Maybe you died. I, I picked up your body when you died. They're coming in north. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go and set up a new outpost, like like another base elsewhere in the map for producing stuff. I really feel like we just need to like we got 73 turrets. We can we can put so many laser turrets, 70 turrets between here and that iron patch. Defend it like hell. Oh, I guess all the stuff we could be doing. Where are the turrets? I'll do it. In the laser turret box. Fifty. That's fifty. Is, is the power doesn't run with the belt, so you have to protect both, but you don't have power to protect the belt. I might, uh, this. the other side to worry about though. <laughs> I 
I got five more. Why is iron not being used up? Because I must build here. Coming the new base. Making a new base? They are coming to our iron closet right now. Oh. Oh. Man, Zulon now is bombing all of the forest because <laughs> that one time I almost killed Anti with the mines. You got any rockets you can shoot him with? Oh, he's getting, he's getting smacked. He's getting smacked. He's dead. He's dead. Got him. Got him. Stuff. Beautiful. Power armor full of PLDs. Holy fuck! Oh, nice. Is that the laser turrets that I placed? <laughs> oh. Alright, Psycho. I'll put this in for you. You there? Oh, it's right here. Blend's coming, or Andy's coming over to you guys. If I come go cover this power armor. I'm gonna take it back into base. Oh, it's full of PLDs. It's full of batteries. Oh, this is amazing. Not waste it. Um, yeah. If you can get into a tank, Psycho. Does he want to have a tank? Here you go. Got it. Oh, we got more mines. Here we go. There's tank shells. Three or four tank shells. How many solar panels? Is that modular armor still there? Or did you grab it? Oh, I, I put it on. Oh, can I have it? Yeah. Give the uh, power armor to
Night Eiffel. I'm coming in behind him. Hopefully we can pincer him. If you can come down. He sees me. Okay. He's going up. I'm gonna be chasing forever. I'm gonna make a new base. I'm gonna uh, chase. In a corner somewhere, if I can not be on their radar. I'm never gonna catch him. Does he have PLDs charged? Do you know Psycho? I don't know. DD, uh, you're in in front of him. Front I'm of him. literally chasing him in circles right now, like... I only have a car. I can't do anything. There you go. Grab him. Nice. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Get him, get him, psycho. Boom. Yeah. Okay, don't, don't kill, don't kill. Okay, well... I'm gonna kill him. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Way too much stuff. I think I crashed into you. It's fine. No, you're good. Okay, let me get his offensive and let me go offensive. Um, there's some rockets. That's about it. I got a bunch of shit, honestly. I got walls. No power this is like armor. Half what I gave him. Yeah, this is like what I had. He hasn't died or gone back since. Now he's going to go back and get power armor. Okay. Get some production going. Um, repair packs. I need repair packs. I got some. Uh -huh. Want to heal me too? Did you give me some? Yeah, it's in your area. Thank you, Andre. Oh, gosh. Do you have shells? I got seven shells yeah, to give you. 23. I'll take seven more. <clears throat> they have full coverage of the map because they got solar. Okay. Actually, what should I have done is placed my radar. Okay, we need to get this iron patch going and flowing. Do it. I am got him distracted. You should be able to expand to your heart's content. Use landmines to clear the fields. Any patches you need. Oh, good thought, good thought. Gosh, we've got an hour. And we gotta make Let's up go. two million points. Okay, Juice, just focus on production. I'm gonna just try and be the biggest pain in the ass. Awesome. Hopefully that'll work. I have it back. That's not. Be able to bring in two more iron fill lines. Right here. Y'all can prep the smelters to receive it. Whoa, boy.
I am, um... Is this, are you guys tripping out too? No. I was at one point, but not anymore. I have like massive latency right now. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, don't get close to it. South is mines. Don't get hit by those. Like... Get that iron, maybe, can you... Yeah, well, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Ooh. Ooh, don't die. Beautiful. I mean, if we cr if we crush, but aren't able to make up the points, then Planton's gonna be like, okay, we're never using the scenario again. You know. Right. You just need. Take one, I'll take the other. Or beautiful. Ah, where am I freaking? Oh, I'm toast. I'm completely effed. No. Put stuff in the chest. Oh no, that, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Keep running to the right, there's nothing. You're clear. Keep running. To the right. Where? Oh, watch out, there's mines there. <laughs> okay, I'm bringing in. We're bringing in more iron. Eiffel, are the uh, furnaces ready for two more iron mines coming in? We'll upgrade it. <clears throat> I had two power armor mark ones from them, obviously. I didn't ever really touch their production, though.
Okay. Here are the iron mines, Eiffel. Two more coming in. We could get us some more steel. That would be ideal. Yeah, now that I did all of that, I'm like, well, we could probably just make the steel on the bottom left so it's not vulnerable, but... <sighs> you know. They love me. No water anywhere else in the map. Um, Okay, are we giving up on score? I'm just gonna wreck. Oh, yeah, you're gonna wreck. How? How did I like? That was stupid. <sighs> we got still going. That's gonna help us. That's get score. Um. Slow down caps. Um, Cito. He has a whole bunch of my stuff. Coming to our base, right outside our iron patch. Of course they are. Man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Landmine. In mines.
They have radars all over the whole map. Of course they do. Okay. We might be able to get anti. I, I destroyed his tank. I don't think he has another one. I'm gonna wall him in. Possibly. See if you can wall him in Eiffel without killing him. Did he appeal these? I'm sure he did. I don't think he did. What? Are they out? Don't kill him. Eiffel. Wait, Eiffel. <laughs> Don't kill him, Eiffel. We're gonna Don't wall kill him. him. We're, gonna, we're gonna prison him. Okay, don't, just stay back, stay back, Eiffel. Stay back. You got it, Jeez. Oh shit, I took it out of my freaking inventory, what? Damn it, I shift clicked it, I thought I did. Shift clicking doesn't take it out of my armor? Fuck! How did I do that? Shift click doesn't undo your armor. Awesome. You mean shift oh. click? Yeah, it shift does. Click. Shift, shift, uh, left click. It, now it's working. Like, I just tried it again, it didn't work. I don't know, guys, sorry. Lag. Maybe. Something. No, now it's working every time, instantly. Before, like, when I was saying it's not working, like, I did it, like, five times and it didn't work. I don't know. Yeah. Lag or latency or whatever. No, it wasn't like... No, it wasn't that. I was moving around. Um, okay, I'm gonna... Did we hook up bots? I wonder what bots. Didi, can you do that? What, get bots? Yeah. Well, let me... I'm gonna connect the stone first. Bots will give us repairing on our tanks. Which yeah, is amazing. Alright, bots, this... This even right, no. Heal. Okay, I have steel for bots. <laughs> we should have a good amount of steel now. Oh, it's trickling. At least at this point here where I am. Good. Hold that. <laughs> that was so weird with my modular armor. It felt like that open chest, invisible open chest bug. Oh, wait. Or like you had something open, but you, it, it didn't show it. Man. Anti leads is coming.
Oh, they got mines everywhere. Probably down. No, oh, open. Hmm. Personal Roboport that was laying around for whatever reason. They should be showing up really quick. killed Shit, I double clicked enter exit. Fuck. Power armor sitting in our power armor thing. Yeah, I hooked it up from base above. Oh. Do you have a power armor, Psycho? No, I don't want one.
Wow. Okay then. Oh shit. Anti elites is here. And Like this box is again. Oh yeah, bring him down here. I got lasers here. Well, he still can go at the top, but Get him. Oh, shit. Mine. There's a minefield here. You got walls, Juice? No. Our stump production is very good. I know. We don't out. have any walls production. Yeah. Where'd you go, man? Leaving us. I'm right trying here. to get the stone back up to get the, the walls, but you might have found out. There's a hole in the lasers. This tank is close. Being dead. Oh no, that's rifle. He's out of his tank right now. Yeah, he is. 
I got a rocket launcher, but... Do you have a slow capsule? And some more. Does anybody have any walls? No, we don't have any. There we go. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Uh, he well, has nothing on him. We were talking about pinning him, not killing him. But... Oh, pinning him? Why? Oh, just so he can't... I'm sorry. Imprisoning him, yeah. Oh, you're cool. It's... <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Well, this is GG. I just want to kill some folks, really. Alright, guys, I didn't know we were trying to capture him or not. <sighs> Might be. Well, thoughts about this game? Lessons learned? Uh, get the enemy's resources early. <laughs> That'll put a hold up on things. No, we were just too slow to any sort of tech that was viable. I, I think Didi's right. I got map control early. Yeah. Yeah, but with what technology? We had nothing. They put walls down yeah, on they our just first walls iron down. patch. That's all they did. And then that really slowed down our iron patch, and they were able to freely expand outside their base. Yeah, so they had walls first. We didn't even have walls. Mm -hmm. Come up. We, we still don't up, have walls. We could have picked up 30 walls from the starting thing and gone to the exact same thing that they did. I just think early map domination would have been... He's going up. Yeah, but that's because it was too slow. It was all about our speed. Well, I mean, they did have anti. <laughs> Freaking fast. It was all about our speed. Technology to go harass. Yeah. I think if we go out there, then we draw. One person goes out there, it draws three people. We've already won. There's no reason we should be doing that the entire game, in my opinion. That's they were like... Like, did you have the score pulled down at the beginning? We were like... Goose Egg, and they were like... 45,000. In okay. 10 minutes. Okay. What were you looking so for? then they were, they were producing immediately, and then that's why they had probably a car to come over here and harass us. We didn't even notice. It wasn't until like an hour when we went out. When we even, we, even at that point, we didn't have the technology to, to fight. We didn't have tanks, we didn't have anything where they already did. When I got down there, the first time, they were all in tanks. I'm saying like at the very beginning of the game, we have stage two blueprint. Hook up those three engine makers, get a car and go. The thing is, the blueprint takes a long time to ramp up. Like, even, like, even to get Thank to you. the engines, <clears throat> right? It took us too long to make steel. 
Or actually, we start with steel, so we could have just made some cars that way. That's probably how they did it. That's definitely how they did it, actually. Because you only need, to make a car, you need eight engines, so you need 13 steel. Easy. Yep. One up and... Yeah, I think I think the change in three teams to two teams was a disadvantage to us because our strategy was better in a free for all. People are generally more defensive for a while. But here it's much more advantageous to you know get out there and who has walls? Do you have walls, Didi? I don't I do not. I know either. I have a bunch of mines and stone furnaces. A car. Do I have a car? I yeah, man, I left it. Points are like just ready. All right, Cito is down. As armor. Wow. He hooked up, okay. Oh, he's so almost dead. Where the hell are they getting our power from? here. Where did that happen? Right here. Oh, outside right over here.
Ah. 30 minutes remain. Man, three million ahead. Crazy. Let's try this. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you going? Ow. Ah! They probably got better rocket shooting speed now. Should be the same. <sighs> I get my body. Ready there. Not cool. I'll stick your guiding there. Okay. Oh, anti. <laughs> I think I'm about to take my stuff. to hear yeah he was not sure where he disappeared to in a tank I guess yep uh, so I'm in the tank oh, did you find him no, found... what delay blame mine oh golly I hit H I'm sorry I hit my enter vehicle key And it transported me to my tank, but I like died in midair. Huh. To a landmine. Weird. That was Sorry. Weird, weird, weird. Did you find any walls, I go? Yeah, I got some walls.
Yeah, I'm gonna come up on him from the right, dude. I don't got cannon shells or anything, I'm just in a tank looking intimidating. You said you do have walls, Seco? Yes. I have walls. I'm gonna have to get my power armor and double check it this time. Out. stuff man I hit landmines out here do you need me to come pick you up or destroyed or come towards you psycho that psycho I'll put some distraction caps in the, in the car's inventory as well. <laughs> Take the caps out of the inventory. Good chance. Car inventory. Oh shit. Oh nope. shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> Try to turn. <laughs> I took the distractions out so they're in my inventory right now. It didn't blow up. See North Eiffel? That's where he went the last time I saw him. <laughs> Harris, you must choose him. Yeah, because you, you blew me up. Yeah. See him? No, uh, somebody's below. Cedo's below, but Anti's above. There He's is. all the way up north. All right. Oh, you picked up my bunny. Oh, I did. Let's drive out here for it. I'm not trying to get stoned. Oh my god. Killed you, Didi. Mines. Okay. And me, like, not knowing really what to do.
Here's Anthony at the top, top edge. Iron Patch. Eighty two thousand score per minute. Ah. And Oh god. Oh wow. Uh, wow. They got the good bots. Wow. The what bots? Good. Crazy bots. Like, Best? Like the ones that shoot at you with lasers. Wow.
Oh, are you kidding me? He's replacing it with his own mines. gotta be kidding me oh my god <sighs> go Eiffel pick it all up <laughs> oh that was <sighs> Ow. Guys, ten more minutes. <laughs> I don't even have fuel. Ninety five. Can they break one hundred? Thousand.
I'm to use Dragon Power Pulse to face. Wow. Are they trying to, like, get some power from us, or... half power? What the heck are they doing with these power poles? Well, I got I cut off their oil. <laughs> but it
That was good. <laughs> I couldn't wall in, Angie. Cedo is at west, up west. Do you have any walls, Eiffel? No walls. Oh, I don't have any walls. Get him, Juice! <laughs> just wall himself in. Hey guys, drop down into uh, uh, South Channel. Alright. Dude, you are a pest. <laughs> just you didn't leave him alone, man. <laughs> man, where should I? I mean, even if they just chase me, you just um, trade one to one, right? Even if they just chase yeah. you. So there's, there's only you can just like one, at least one person and try to do damage for all that. That's why I think attack is too strong. You have no decent ways to defend. Yeah, definitely. And uh, well done, uh, Team Steel Axe. So, uh, like, it was very well done. Like, he, uh, what I saw was uh, so Anti was gonna go with uh, was kind of captured it where he went up and immediately pulled a page out of Madzuri's book, right? And uh, oh, yeah. put and put the uh, uh, walls all over the oil and all the new patch, <laughs> or all the all the ore patches. Good job. And uh, and then just immediately, I think what was the first twenty minutes, Anti, you were out the door, and circling the the old other base. Yeah, I did that from the beginning. I mean, do you know what's the reason for that? I just jumped in there and had no idea what team Anti has for strategy for base building, right? Of course, I was a part of planning. I wanted to do my own team originally until I know only three people. So all the base building, I had no clue. So I just said, oh, I'm just gonna have an attack. That's off my dear. All the the honor for base building is a strategy. It have nothing to do with that. All goes also team of Andy. They right. did mm -hmm. it very well. Right. So we all gotta talk about with them to about the strategy. And uh, Zulan, can you tell us? Uh, did, did you hmm. note the time? How quickly did you have bots? Um, I didn't note it in this game. Um, Wait, I think five minutes. I said five minutes. Yeah, probably. It was okay. really quick. It was so quick. So yeah, was I, that for like tank repair or base building or both? I guess. Base building. Base yes. building. Yes, we trained a lot on this one. <laughs> yes. After two months ago, we we screwed that up. We trained on it. Nice. Very good. Yeah. So that was one of the first things. Uh, it was. Um, it was. Not, it was in the. Uh, the. I guess it was the first one, where Zul. I, I did talk to Zulon right after that, and he says we were targeting ten minutes and having bots up in ten minutes. And and uh, that was a pain point from last time, right? Two times ago, exactly. yes. Two yeah. times ago, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, last, yeah, yeah. Last time we decided not to use the blueprint import too much, but since we also saw that blueprint import is essential to use, um, you you gotta go with that. So. Right. Mm -hmm. And then All you right. might as well have very nice blueprints and have the bots build them. Right. Stone wasn't a uh, so uh, you guys um, had a choice of four maps. Um, two maps were um, oil limited. One map was coal limited, 
and the other one was uh, Stone Limited, and Clonin uh, picked number three, which was Stone, uh, which was Stone Limited. Um, did anybody Wait, have the unlimited one? It looked like that one was the unlimited one. It was no, pretty was... limited all around. <laughs> no. <laughs> the other two had no no oil in the base. Right. Yeah, so... that, that would have been a problem for us. Right. Yes. But I think for many. And and both and both teams, the, you, you kind of had some oil, just not too far from the base. You could run in, and at least one, both of you kind of had it back in. Um, Eh, probably Fury had the, the harder time of it because theirs was facing the other the uh, um, the opponent. But uh, where did they have oil? They had oil south, uh, due south. There's three that well, it's it's looks like a wall now, but uh, and then due west, due west, they had a pretty big pa pretty big patch due west. Um, Wait, what one? I didn't see on the top. Yeah. You mean? No, uh -uh, it was west. Yeah, you've pl you placed walls on both their out outside oil patches. Right. Oh, that one to the very best. I always look for the pipe connection. Where does it run? I never found it. Right. They, they, yeah, yeah, we never, they never the hooked up for oil. Yeah, they never went outside the base for oil. They you hit uh, so Auntie, you hit their only two oil ones, oh. uh, only two oil pumpers, like two or three times. But yeah, yeah, but it was in. But having oil in the base was uh, was. Even if it's two or three patches, it's still that that can get you off the off the ground. Like Lazuan said, if it, if there was no oil in the base, you would have had a harder time. Right, right. Yeah, we are. Oil oil is hmm? so had a big oil patch towards them too, but they destroyed it. Yeah, and he, and uh, Steelax did a really good job of getting on that oil early on that one that was uh what three thousand four thousand percent up there was 11 uh, uh, i think 11 patches and then the smarter smartest thing they did was was take it inside the base and then barrel it up so or not yeah, barrel it, have but tank it 26 20, tanks. Yep. yeah yep as every time it got full we had more tank yep that was good and that way in the, and then when when it, when Juice eventually came by and knocked it out, you could just ignore it, right? You just go, okay, well, whatever. Well, we, it, was, it was too late in the game. Yeah, we got in game oil. That was really good. And um, then also with oil, Team Steelax did their cheeky little outpost oil that probably racked up, like, increased the point per minute by, like, 30k a minute at least. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. here's... So I'll, I'll zoom in on that on the oh, go out yeah. there to the south. Uh, it's it's along the south. Time is run out there with a blueprint and throw down this little build that was you know you don't need a ton of um, of uh, oil out there in its what twelve refineries, bunch of bunch of um, chemical plants producing. The only thing you're really producing here is uh, is lube and uh, and solid fuel, and I guess the tank to store off some of the um, store off some of the petroleum gas so it doesn't bottleneck. Mm -hmm. I think it's even 50k with both running. Yeah, yeah, it's then, really strong. And then solar yeah. panels with the rest of it and power to connect it all. It was really good. And the and and yeah, and we and the fact they took out our other oil is what brings us down. Right. It would have been to about 100k right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a prediction. Was uh, was was you guys were going to go up over 100k until Juice took out the. Uh... Yeah, there you go, DD Gamer. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Good job. You win. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, good. Uh, I mean, what I didn't. The other thing I didn't see here was uh, was copper point mining, and I thought. I called it early on that you guys were gonna uh, that Steel Axe was gonna point mine the the West Copper the 2.3 million, but you brought it into the base, which is probably better. And then I would have thought that you guys would have gone down that 1.6 million on, against the wall on the on the south south wall. That one would have been e that one would have been easy money, but maybe you did, in the end you didn't need it, right? Yeah, we don't need it for production, and um, it's kind of. Uh... We're just busy, uh, yeah. Stuff, and because the oil yield on this map is so high, 
uh, you can get away like just four or five pump jacks and have 10, 12, 15 refineries. Um, mm -hmm. That's very efficient in terms of points because of the map setting. Right. Well, good. Well, uh, Psycho or Juice, you guys have uh, you guys have some thoughts? Um, yeah, it was good. Time to time to refine and refresh for next time. Yeah, yeah. that was a good game. I don't think we adjusted I mean, our strat well enough to one v one. That is, like we, ki we kind of got like uh, tunnel vision on our free for all strat. Mm -hmm. And like I noticed that, and I, I mentioned it, is that like I noticed that. Well, part of it, Anti said, you know, he was playing through his own thing and wasn't used to the builds they were doing, but that he adapted to the 1v1 because if this were a free-for-all still, he would not have been able to do what he did to you guys. Right. Right. Why not? We, were, we were not the expecting entire match up there. the early. Right, exactly. Yep. <laughs> we were thinking, okay, the only, Anti's going to have to hunker down, and yeah, so. But the question is, I mean, the, the other question is, if it wasn't a 1v1, would... um. You know, would have been able to. They would have been. You know, if it wasn't a one v one, other people would have harassed them. I don't know if you know, and we would. They, they couldn't have harassed us as much either, as well, either. Right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. You know, if the, there the were big, other teams that were harassing them, Anti couldn't have spent the whole game up at your base. Right. Yeah, the big thing that hurt us was that iron patch. It took us far too long to get that going, outside the base. Hmm. And you yep. walled it, and so it was just, it just never really was all that fruitful till, you know, hour 45 minutes in. And that yep. just kind of slowed down everything else in the base. Yeah, that, the, uh, and what we are looking at is, is probably the time that uh, someone from Steel Axe was outside of the 3RA base, probably two hours out of the two and a half. <laughs> and, the time that someone from Thra was outside the Steel Axe base, probably about an hour fifteen, right? Mm -hmm. Like pestering it, just the the amount of time that uh, that offense that they did was was uh, taking it, uh, take you guys into defense was pretty uh, was pretty staggering, right. and yeah. uh, I I gave it the uh, the same parallel as to how as to how uh, back in the day they beat Mike Tyson, right? Was Mike is amazing coming forward, and he's horrible fighting off his back foot. So, the the guys that beat him, uh, Buster Douglas, Evander Holyfield, they they would make him back up. And once you made him back up, it was it was hard for Mike to get adjusted. It was uh, right. he was he was not a backwards fighter, he was a forward fighter. So and that's what uh, I think that's what Steelax did today is always kept pushing forward yeah. and pestering. And then here is the smartest thing that Anti did. I think was he would. Do some destruction and then run away, right? Mm -hmm. Never engage. Like pr what I was, my my com comment was that probably Juice and Psycho have so many more hours, like a hundred more, hundreds of hours more in a tank than anyone on Steel Axe is my guess. And you know, you get in a brawl with one of those guys and you're going to lose, right? Um, it, it's or they're, or they're going to win those skirmishes. So what you want to do is you want to hit them and then run away and what Anti was doing was perfect he was pulling one or two or three guys with him and taking them off task right when right. he knew that the steel axe guys were amazingly on task right right so yeah and making sure yeah. just keeping tabs on what what we went as far as outside the base making sure we didn't expand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i really yep. think we we were missing red car on this one yeah yeah, yeah. I, I mentioned that <laughs> i was like yeah. man if only they had a red car he would have yeah. been put in the pressure, and and that's something that we didn't shift to either. Is I didn't I didn't want to go out and attack. I wanted to get points. I just saw how the points were climbing on their side and not on ours, and I was I wanted to hunker down and get points and mm -hmm. build out on our turf. But with a one v one as well, like yeah, Tough. we didn't have I I wanted to hunker down and and expand slowly instead of taking full map control like in StarCraft you would have in a one v one. And right, right. Just, we did not switch to that. Mm -hmm. I think very it's good, very man. Very difficult. You cannot get like map um, map control in Victoria at all because you have not like really good options to defend or something, right? Right. You, you, you guys have chase so much. Uh, I mean, like 
the problem is just yeah. like I don't know how to counter what I did because I was like very low equipment. I just had a tank and some bullets. So if I die, it doesn't matter. But you right. consistently, um, I didn't fight you. Not I didn't choose to not fight you because um, I thought you were stronger. But like whatever the fight outcome is, it's not favorable for me. Um, yeah. It's just like as long as I just want to run away and I like track one person view with me. Um, it's like one to one exchange, and it doesn't matter. Right. And... Well, in factorial, whoever's running away has the clear advantage. So if I'm pursuing you, you can yeah. throw grenades, you can shoot cannon, whatever you want back at me. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why in our scenario we have it so players, when they're hurt, they run slower. But there's no way to do that for vehicles, which I would love to be able to do. Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah, fleeing always wins. I think um, it would need some nitro in like cars, so you can yeah. like spot <laughs> peak or something like that. It would really make right. things up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. speed is the, everything's too flat line. Everybody runs at the same or drives at the same speed. Like the 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 fuel helps, but hardly. Yeah, next time rush nuclear fuel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, then you die as opponent has it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, I think, I think that based on what we saw and what Andy said and what you experienced, I think attacking is probably too strong. Like compared, you know, I mean, like Andy said it. You know, there's no cost to attacking really, and there's a huge cost to trying to defend these attacks mm -hmm. because yeah, you can invest it, it one took, person it took and three of us take, to go like, three of them wrangle you down into a hole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah also, having no stone in the base made it much harder to defend. Because walls really are a multifaceted way of defending. They can defend against tanks. You can put like speckled walls. Uh, to yeah, just we make really couldn't harder. wall up like we usually would have. Uh, so having stone in the base, I think, might be a good future note. Well, blame Clonin. He was the one that picked this <laughs> map. He, 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 he pulled our straw. <laughs> he did. So so remember, I, I mean, I, I had four maps ready, and he just picked the one that was uh, stone limited in the base. So right. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, make uh, it yeah a more offensive game. I'm yeah. uh, I I am curious. I have a question for all you guys who are playing. What is your opinion at this point on landmines? Because we noticed that it seemed like the changes <laughs> the devs made didn't make any difference. Because pretty much every single person here was still just plowing through them as if they were invisible. Because they almost right. are. Yeah. They, so they, I'm interested. They, what do you think? Like, I mean, do you I think mean, we could stop once. We have the, that option to, to toggle that or to adjust that. The damage. Yeah. I still think I still think raiders should make landmines visible. That would fix so much. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And then they can be automatically attacked by lasers. You know, you made some visible raider and lasers attack them, and it's good. Yep. Right. Yeah, I I, I agree. Think... That's that was one of the ones we were we were talking about in game. Uh, about an hour in, we said, yeah, the landmine impact is still there. Like you, you uh, um. The amount of uh, landmine combat that's been going on is like eighty percent to everything else. Twenty percent is is you know right. what the what the what tool you're using to combat. But it's and a great tool. Like, I no. still think like explosive cannon shots are stronger. But it's a great tool to combat offense. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, if you looked, you see at the end, he was sticking to the to the walls because he was, didn't want landmines. Right, and, and he still doesn't go landmines. That slow juice down tremendously is him sneaking along that, that west wall, just kind of eking in, which would have given you guys time to come over and defend. So, um, I still but, think it helped because yeah. imagine just not seeing them at all. Like, there would have been well, yeah, no way compared to what it was. It's right, it's in the right direction. It's helped, it's still a big problem. Right. Do you remember the fight in the woods on the right in the end? We had like yes. put a lot of landmines in there. So that is also one of the things where you see like landmines are completely broken, right? I was still able to get away there because of the woods. You couldn't hit me really well. You couldn't uh -huh. go through the woods because everything was full of landmines there. Um, I don't know. It's it's a bit stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I I agree. Yeah. Raid radar revealing landmines is is probably a uh, or or prominently revealing. Like not 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 that they just go opaque or anything, but they. You know, you, you see them they as well as you them. see your own, right? And they can be attacked, right? That, yeah. I think that's fairly a unanimous agreement. Is just give that to us and let us defend our own our own outposts with, with you know, from mines. 
and then probably we can think of some other ones like there, a couple of suggestions was a cool down on placing mines and some other things but yeah i don't know some some good ideas out there but i think radar is a pretty unanimous one so. mm -hmm. yeah I, I just I, I i don't know i don't want to disagree but i just think that right now offense is so overpowered if you don't have landmines well, yeah so you're if you're going to take away if you're going to make it easier to attack landmines then i don't know i, I mean that's going to make the right. offense so, even more overpowered well no that's but true. the thing is though if it's radar it doesn't really help the people on offense you know like if you're fighting somebody you can't just like plop a radar uh, down I mean, have you looked at our radar coverage yeah, but it also yeah, yeah, for you, your base. Your base. Oh, on their base. Map. They have the whole map right now. On their yeah. base. Because I yeah. wanted to go, like, start some mining out somewhere else and do a separate base, but you would have seen me miles yes. away. Yes. Right. We have tons yeah. of radars around their yeah. base. And it's, like, yeah. one yeah, solar yeah. panel. When, yep. I mean, basically... A lot of the times, we saw them coming because of our radars. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the radar shouldn't work with only one solar panel. So if they are not fully powered, they should not work, not even for a real map. It's stupid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, I was just doing that. That I said, hey, I, I noticed that in the previous in uh, event two, Zulon would place five solar panels, one power pole, and a radar. And now this time, it was one solar panel. And I thought, oh, okay, well, that's superior if the radar works with just one save right. yourself four and i and i said i guess that's cr true it only does sector reveal if it's fully powered right because there's a time and it takes forever right yeah, yeah exactly. it just takes a long time to get the sector reveal right so actually denjo found that out uh, and he was asking me why are you even putting five solar panels and like i want to power it and it's uh, not necessary so yeah good job dan i didn't know that either <laughs> Uh, I saw also someone else doing it, but I don't remember who is who it was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think we've been doing it on three areas for for a long time. Yep. Yep. Just one. Uh, there's a good um, hint from our chat. Radar reveal range should scale with power level. Ah. Yes, yeah, that would be good. Smart idea. Be good. Mm hmm Good idea, Clonin. I hope you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, guys, uh, final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts, Steel Axe. Anything, uh, anything from you guys? Sure. Thank you for letting me um, play in Team Not Anti, guys. It was fun. <laughs> we made a great trilogy. And thank you for organizing. Yeah. Yeah, thanks yeah, for that. Thank you. And it was a good game. Yeah, you yeah bet. very good. I think you really made it. 3RA, I heard today. My, my own team was like firing me. Don't just say, I'm a 3A once more, I will kill you. <laughs> well, that was my own team saying that. <laughs> so, I, I think I eventually learned today. So, yes. I didn't mess that before. Awesome. <laughs> no, you're yeah. good. Also, you did, a, you did a great job harassing us as well. So, I, it must have been frustrating, I guess. But um, we, were, we were also, um, you know, fighting very hard for our iron patch so you, you did a good job yes. attacking as well yeah. and we also and we also got okay, upset at Zulan <laughs> yeah because yeah. I lost the first power armor but yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll yes. say I, I said to Zulan don't attack the iron patch with high equipment if you die we lose a power armor and, and Zulan said oh no don't worry I'm gonna be fine and yep. the first moment of daily he said oh no I lost all power armor <laughs> oh, no. what? I remember that it was Psycho got it right yes yeah. sir I, I will say that, like, with the game probably being over like an hour before it was actually over, that's having the uh, a silo destruction option to kind of end the game might have been good. Yeah. Well, they would have yeah. ended it on us way earlier. We'll we'll <laughs> yeah. do uh we'll do some more of that on the green circuit. I want to exercise some more of those scenarios in the in the green circuit events. So yeah, that's the, next week. The yeah. problem I I really love the idea of the silo destruction for exactly that reason. Um, because it allows you to, to end the game when it's uh, decided, but um, the problem is you first need to fix defense. Um, otherwise, it it's uh, it right. gets even even more um, you know screwed towards offense if you yeah. if you can't even have your base like that. I think it was was a good. I mean, it was a much better balance between offense and defense than than uh, not having the protection zone. In in my personal uh, you know preference well, I'll, I'll say to that we should just absolutely make sure we have a good stone patch in the base because that 
at least on our three mm-hmm. area server, that I mean, putting down walls, it really, really helps. Yeah. I, not I not just the like walls, rocket silo because like they're definitely safe. So, and, and I don't know if you have a rocket silo. It's it, it's it, it's been like a pure PvP event already. And I actually must say I just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like it to be more like production based because production, to be honest, didn't matter at all, right? It was just not a production event at all anymore. And that's why I think it's sad. I would like. I well, would I rather think see if, this if event the score to be wasn't shifting there. more to production. Like, we were kind of like, oh, this sucks because we were our score was behind. But if their score wasn't there, they'd be like, we could get in there and get the silo. You know, it would have been more fun, I think. Right. At least on our end. Yeah. Yeah. It's too easy to destroy silo. It was so, over. So, uh, and remember, on the, in the other custom scenarios we've done, there's four ways to win, not just, uh, not just two, right? There's launch a rocket, which... Uh, uh, you know, should invite the uh, speed runner. Should uh, invite the speed runners to uh, to do that. And there's a production goal, like 10 million. If you do that in you know in in that time, you'll uh, you win the game automatically. There's like a there was like a low ceiling. So um, you know if you can just outpoint everybody and defend for a while, you can you can win four different ways, right? Right. If you launch a rocket, you get like 10 million points anyway, I guess. Right. Launch right. So, um, right. how often, how often, uh, what, what's the distribution on your server of the winning conditions? Is it mostly, um, silo. destruction? Silo, yeah. Yeah, so, th- that's the question. Uh, how, how can we balance the game so that each option is, like, equally, um, possible? Right. Mm-hmm. Great question. Well, you're I have no how... answer to that question. Well, also, like, NT, you were saying how PvP is dominant at this point. But like you were saying last time, point game isn't very fun either. Just going out and putting up miners and and points getting getting four like you have the the two oil points. Yeah, because that's, that's not because a fun game the either. points are as equally bad balanced as the PvP. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, <laughs> I'd rather you know, PvP. Why, you know why I do that with the copper miners? I make it to show off. How stupid the current point system is. That's the only yeah, reason. Yeah, but completely. that's an easy fix, right? Um, so yeah. f- fixing the points is simple. You just got to change the formula and make more advanced uh, things. Should give scale more way more with each um, intermediate um, step, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Especially wow. smelting. Smelting <laughs> is taking so much time and giving so few points. It's stupid. Right. Right. Well, final thoughts, uh, three RA. Give you guys a chance. That was good. We're fired up. I feel like we came into this one very lethargic. Like, oh yeah, we got this in the bag, <laughs> and it was not the story. Yeah, <laughs> like not we, the story. Last event, we practiced literally every day leading up to it for like a week. This time, mm-hmm. we didn't practice once. So, <laughs> we're there you go. it was good. It was a good swift kick in the ass. It's like uh, it's like Rocky Three. Like he was lethargic, man. He was like, "Hey, we're champs. We don't have to. We don't have to, like, we don't have to train all that. It's great." Granted, I was like expecting Anti to be on his own and the other team, but I was just like, right. "Yeah, we got this. There's no way they can beat us." I think this would have been a very, very different game had there been the original setup. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Well, yeah. so what you guys can do, uh, what you guys can do to help these events is. Like I've I have been uh, pestering all these folks to try and be a part of this event and promoting it like crazy. If you guys have a closer relationship than absolute stranger, like I do with like Arumba and Catherine and Sky and all these and these other folks, these new folks I'm trying to drag in, go talk to them and say, hey, there's this really cool thing going on. We're doing it every uh, we're doing it at least once a month, and there's these other other events that we're doing in between. You're gonna be a part of it. Go check them out. Whatever, just like. Help, pr- help, uh, help me to pr- promote these sorts of things to these other streamers that we don't have uh, playing. So that would help. Yeah. We can get some new yeah, folks definitely. in and all that, all that stuff. That would help. Yeah, I mean, that'd be cool. I'm pretty sure the three hour balancing is a base to get more people join. Yeah. Yes. Also, the three hour server. We're doing like a nightly every week night at seven thirty Central Time. We're restarting the match. So if you want to like play with us, you can plan around that time. I have a yeah, strong yeah. feeling a lot of people were not participating with thought they thought oh, it's only PvP. I don't like PvP a lot. Right? <laughs> Keep that in mind. And like everyone who's not into PvP is I currently cannot really join this event. Right. 
Well, yep. I, I sometimes drop in in the 3A server, and it's quite cool because you can talk with the opponent. Maybe so, sometimes both sides don't don't really want to fight, so it's it's quite it's quite cool. It's not only PvP, it's right? PvP, but in in a good way. I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, they 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 do a fair amount of uh of you know exchanging ideas and all kinds of stuff. It's good. It's a good group of guys. So, um, all right. So award time. Awards. Uh, we have we have two awards to hand out. Um and, all right. First award. Um, the one that is uh, least cool, I would say. <laughs> uh, everyone. Everyone always. Uh, I, that gangsta award because it's uh because it's gangsta right but the le the one that that people least uh uh least angle for is the mvp award mvp award today goes to uh the one who came up with the most unique strategy to uh to keep the ra off of his base and that was anti-elites mvp did, did more for uh for his team by keeping the keeping on their iron patch and keeping them off theirs because sure. the the three RA guys are uh, are, I mean, you you heard it every single weeknight. They are fighting each other. They're in tanks. They're shooting. They're landmines. They're doing all this stuff. Like if if you had not done what you did, they would be, they would be, they would have done the same thing to you. But they would have stayed there. They wouldn't have run away. They would have stayed, and just pestered you the whole map. So uh, so for for adaptation of strategy and being uh, being the MVP of Steel Axe, uh, anti elites, good job. Thank you, Ant. All right, Ant, uh, the most coveted award for the most savagery on uh, uh, savage acts on this uh, on the battlefield. Uh, this uh, this one, next person not only uh, destroyed. Uh, Killed the one person who said, "No problem, I got this." Took his power <laughs> armor, and then proceeded to kill another seven people with that same power armor and PLD. Psycho gangsta AF. Oh, Congratulations, sir. <laughs> oh man! And that that was and and uh, also it kind of it's kind of like okay, if you're a gangster, you you uh, you break a lot of. And that that was pretty heartbreaking for Zulon to lose that uh, power armor because <laughs> me and Nick's term were going we're mm -hmm. going crazy going oh he dropped it he dropped it it's off the ground he's got it. pick it up <laughs> pick it up <laughs> oh it was great Man. I was AFK so, the last hour look <laughs> yeah thanks I'll take it <laughs> it was good good job uh, and sometimes it comes down to like one single event where you just go yes he's he's a freaking savage he did it and I'm <laughs> I'm still waiting for someone. To have a nuclear bomb in their inventory, be <laughs> driving across the map to go deliver it, get killed. <laughs> then the gangster picks up the nuke out of his out of that inventory and goes and uses it, it on the other base. It's never gonna happen because the events are short for that. I you know. need to produce like five thousand high tech signs and right. it's, we, it's we kind of impossible. Even if you have no PvP. And right. it, it's, it's, happened, it's still it's tough. It's happened a couple times on the three hour server because yeah. <laughs> two and a half hours. Because uh, we have the uranium right. uh, ore patch that's like right next to the walls that we make sure yep. happens every match. And, and um, we have research that doesn't cost. Right, we have automatic much. research, so you don't have to build the science for it. You just wait. Right. Uh, okay. So yeah, hey, I, so go ahead, Zulan. What I really like is if the research was just cheaper, um, because. Um, the automatic research is a nice idea, but um, it kind of you don't have to decide whether to spend your resources on research, so it's less of a complex game by having right. it automatic. But if you like, if it is a real investment to go to nuke and the other team has no nuke, then you are at a disadvantage early on, but later on on the advantage. Whereas if you get it automatically, both get it at the same time, it's 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 kind of um, you know boring Whoa. strategy wise. Mm -hmm. You're you're theorizing that they're both going to go for the same researches at the same time. That's um, completely not I'm, possible. Okay, so of course you do have the decision the tree to is the huge. research tree, but yeah. um, I, I still think it's it's a more interesting strategy a game if if you have to pay for it. Right. But of course, the current cost sure. is way too high. Sure. 
So here's yeah, here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some guys, uh, some some folks from this group, and I will probably set up a little Discord channel where we can kind of do all these. And what I want to do is kind of take some. I was talking about this in my stream last night where I, we take a bunch of these ideas, put them up on the board from on on probably some sort of spreadsheet, and say, can we customize them? Yes, no, low, medium, high effort put mm -hmm. some ideas up there and then do a low medium high impact of a need to have want to have nice to have because yeah. some of the stuff that juice is doing and some of the stuff that the community is doing with the pvp scenario is really good like there's way more tweaks that we can make to this thing than i thought possible and so one i want to kind of try and capture all those of those ideas so i'm going to put that together that's an off-air thing we can do and then on air, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start exercising these in the green events that I have. So like next weekend, we'll probably do another custom scenario with three RA guys. It's an open event. We're just, I just want some more reps so we can observe and see what's going to happen in these things. So if you want to be a part of play testing these crazy scenarios and see what we can do about it, hit me up. Uh, the green circle will be open to everybody and probably just draw names, probably do two or three matches a, a, a Saturday see what we can do so we'll start experimenting with some of some of those uh on the off weeks that we don't do this one where we kind of okay this is let's bring in the best players best streamers and let's let's do this thing right is the so green we, circuit with support uh, a coach or it was it the red circuit events red circuit was supposed to be the coaching but coaches is kind of weird deal i we haven't quite put that together but green is just open for everybody i have a little sign up sheet we have to do some work to get in and then uh, teams are random, so you don't get to choose your teammates, and you just get in there and play. And uh, if you want to see la what happened last weekend, oh, one of the most great. exciting finishes uh, ever in the last 40 seconds, uh, one team Wait, won. Yeah. It, was, it came right down to the wire. There were so many lead changes. It was one of the greatest events we'd had. It was green circuit. It was random strangers thrown in there and just go. It was great. Um, so anyway, those are working out. So... Um, off air, I, I'm going to commit to kind of putting some of these together, see if we can't make this thing uh, kind of a little bit more w the way that we want to do it, because it's just yeah. like today, since we were missing a bunch of teams that are usually here, we can kind of do whatever match we want to do, and I think this is the match that we all wanted to see, so we kind of make this event however we want it, right? What I just um, yeah. say for my chat is feedback. Um, please no random teams in Green Circuit event. It, it um, keeps all my friends from playing in the Green event. Oh really? So, takes, takes that in consideration. Um, had two months at that, so maybe had two months. Have a direct talk to Clown Town about that. If you don't yeah. tell him, cousin, he doesn't know, right? You can only yeah. shame things if you communicate. And yeah. I'm actually, it's good that you tell me, so I can tell Clown Town. But it's even better if you just talk direct to Clown Town about that. Yeah, sure. Clown. My Discord's the best way to get a hold of me, and I'm I have a channel in there that just collects all these ideas, and we talk and all that stuff. So, guys, thank you so much. Hang on, let me let me let me uh, promote all the all of you. If you are listening to my voice and you do not know who these streamers are, they're in the Reddit post, but uh, um, of the folks in there, 3RA, uh, Juice, and Psycho, and DD Gamer are streamers. Go follow those guys. They're in the in the link. Also, from Steelax, Dangio, Zulon, Xenocyber, um, and uh, oh yeah, that one guy, Anti-Elites, he is also a streamer. <laughs> Make sure you follow and support. I saw a th oh one other thing I saw I had Anti's chat open and I also and uh, uh, Exterm's chat open in Anti's chat uh, I saw a lot of folks hitting the sub button and follows and all of that. Thank you so much for supporting all these uh, all these streamers and keeping them playing. Uh, this is what we want to do. We want the community to help support these streamers. If you like these events, don't just support me. Support all these streamers too. Hit those hit that sub button and be a part of uh, be a part of their communities. And we build up all these communities, and we have these great events every uh, uh, at least once a month. So thank you so much for supporting all these great streamers. Yeah? Awesome. All right. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Z uh, Exterminator and I are going to go up to the broadcaster's booth. You guys did a great job. Uh, great event, as usual. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for organizing. It was great. Thanks for banging your heads against us. <laughs> <laughs>
was awesome. All right. Uh, what do you got coming up? Uh, how is Clustery Clusterio going? Uh, that's. I think we're almost done. We hit our goal. 60K science a minute. That was supposed to be like a four-month project, right? I know, man. That's what <laughs> happens when you get so many people in. They just work nonstop. And yeah. It's done. Um, but we're going to do another one. I think All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching who, who did or spots. will in the VOD. Uh, so anyone who wants to join that. It's a good game. It was tough. Just so we can, you know, filter out grief and stuff. Yep. See you guys uh, next time for another match. Thanks for join. watching. See ya. Um, tons of fun. And 